There you go. You can put it down whenever you want. <laughs> I guess my cat my catheter is on the floor down there, so that's our closet for our stuff. That's our son. And then of course over there is the bathroom. I haven't been to it yet because I got a catheter, so that's the one. It's so cramped and small. We can't wait to get the fuck out of here. So, look at this piss poor rocking chair, bro. They, they need to just move it out of here. There's not even any fucking room for there to be a pump next to it. This table too damn big to go over there. Why is all of our furniture so big? It felt like our furniture was smaller in the other room, too. And the other room is bigger. I didn't either, but I didn't know. I didn't have time to notice anything. She was just here and wouldn't shut the fuck up. It's not even like we have ready access to it. Because if they come in, they're going to come in over here. And I feel like I don't have access to any of my shit. Any of his shit. know it's gonna be loud as fuck when you do <laughs> and I don't even say that to dig at you I just everything in this fucking room is designed to be loud as shit man it's so small even I don't feel comfortable in here I feel claustrophobic And then when she put them all over me, and he's on top of my leg. Multiple babies crying. I don't hear anything over here yet. I think I did earlier, but. I can't even hear shit because I got this shit chirping in my fucking ear. Like my actual ear. This shit close as fuck to me. So I had to keep being like, huh, huh, huh. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to steal some damn diapers because we need that for our suffrage. Don't worry, we'll ask whoever the nurse is. And I dare them hoes to say no. Mm-hmm. Take all that shit. I'm not ready to fucking take the damn birth cloths, too. Niggas tripping. And that suction thingy. I want one of them suction thingies. You should put one of them motherfuckers in my bag. <laughs> I thought there was one in there with them. Oh, you moved it? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, I thought that was a spare. Because she was fucking retarded, bro. I'm so glad I got rid of her. I was not about to play with her ass. I don't know who the fuck she thought she thought was going to play with her ass, but I wasn't. And then the other lady was a trip. She going to come in here and act like I got a fucking, like I got high blood pressure as a condition. I'm like, I've never been told I had high blood pressure in my life until just now. And then Sue gonna say, oh, it's because she was upset. Like, like I'm just upset. Like, I just came up here upset. So it is 3.09 and Elijah got fussy, but of course, we quit crying the minute that we go into the arms of Papa Bear, because <laughs> nothing could be wrong. So I had to wake Elton up 
unfortunately. I was trying not to. Um, cause I, I personally thought he needed soothing. Cause it's 3.09, almost 3.10. And at 2.15 a.m. I had called the nurse into here. And first thing he did, she did, was change his diaper. He had a little tar booty. And um, it was a big tar booty and he peed also. So no poop, no pee. And then I bottle fed him for the first time, um, which was only five to seven milliliters. So not much. Uh, as you can see, he's got, I feel bad like we're wasting the some of that, but you know, I had her, uh, I called her in here because I wanted to try to, um, have him latch so that is what I pretty much did so yeah um, she taught me both sides and she taught me a technique and that's why I'm leaving this pillow here and yep um, it like it's like a technique where you tuck him in the crook of the armpit and um, oh, yeah a little football trick he said huh You listen to it a little bit, a little bit. yes because uh when when elijah started crying uh i was trying not to wake elton like i said but he shot up the minute that he started crying wailing and um well you know, he hasn't really wailed yet but he started crying because he's getting a diaper changed and um and elton uh shot up like a bat out of hell i was like it's okay <laughs> and me and her literally said the same thing at the same time me and the nurse were like you're okay they're like he's just getting his diaper changed <laughs> we're like lay back down i was like i was like i called her in here i'm like he's fine she's she's gonna help me do some stuff um yeah i would have changed that diaper but i haven't ended up changing one yet um it's kind of hard to to bend and i'm kind of still stuck to the bedish till they take my catheter out because it's still in but yeah, I think they said something about between 5 and 6 a.m. I'm taking it out. So I'm going to drink more fluids. Took me a tiny little cat nap. I feel okay, especially compared to last night. Um, yeah. I'm tired, definitely, but it's not nothing horrible yet. Like I said, I just feel bad. I woke my boyfriend up because so he's falling asleep in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you got his head, baby. No. Well, now I feel jealous. I'm like, why couldn't I do that? <laughs> Calm him down. Yeah, she was saying something about feeding him every 30 minutes that way we don't that way we won't feel like we're constantly feeding him that's how she that's how she worded it every 30 minutes um but uh i'd have to double check with her that that's what she said i'm tired and then um i just know she said with the amount he's taking in it'll be more like one to two hours for him instead of three to four so if you feed him more frequently you might get him to three to four what are you saying no no he only drank five to seven she said that's enough for him right now but and then he he had some breast but but not really he latched really good it's just he he was tired he didn't feel like doing it. he had a big poopy big pee farted <laughs> He wasn't trying to, he wasn't trying to do no more. <laughs> you passed out? No, it's okay. <laughs> the goal wasn't to wake you up. Can't wait till I can stand and do more, and I finally learn more how to like 
bottle feed more and um, diaper change and yeah. Somebody's patience wore out. See? <laughs> My vote is on a diaper or a feeding for attention. <laughs> but I think it's a I think it's one or the other with attention. Yeah. Had to call my nurse because my machine keeps chirping. And let's flip it to. And baby boy is crying. <laughs> so hopefully he eats more than four or excuse me, five to seven milliliters. And then somewhere in the next hour and a half, they're going to take my catheter out. And that's what's going on. Oh, yeah, we're also trying to get him a bath, but we're not going to watch. We're going to let her take him out of the room to do it. Can you get some marks, okay? Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. <laughs> it is 7 17 a.m i'm a little heartbroken because i had to pass him off to to my boyfriend to finish his bottle um he hasn't eaten since 4:15 or 4 30 a.m um and then she took him from 4 30 to uh 6 30 and then he came back and we all slept for an hour the three of us in pure bliss and then um he woke up very very hangry and pissed off <laughs> um rightfully so at a uh, 7 uh 15 so and he's been eating like every two hours so that was a little bit of a stretch for him. He only ate. Well, what did he eat last when you fed him? I never got a chance to ask you. Okay. And he was doing like two to seven before that. So he doesn't eat very much at a time. So that makes them hungry. He's at 29. Okay. Yeah, you're nice and hungry this time. Ooh. Yeah, there's vomit in my hair too so you know it's it is what it is but thank you so yeah so cute that's what's going on with that and um we're changing over nurses they couldn't take my catheter out uh, earlier because um, at 6 because yeah. the pee was too dark because I didn't um, I didn't have a, it, if I didn't have an access to the water and now I do like I had some in here but I couldn't bring the table near me so yeah he's getting burped by Dada already burped. now we already burped mm -hmm. oh no. Somebody's got a lot of mucus out of their nose. Yeah, somebody's got a lot of mucus out of their nose.
fixed my bun a little bit, but I need to shower. So that's tonight's submission among breastfeeding, breastfeeding, breastfeeding. I tried just now a little Elijah. I probably tried for an hour. Um, it goes so fast, the time. But I probably tried for like an hour, but uh, he didn't do anything because he was asleep. He would not wake up. They were playing with his cheeks. Me and my boyfriend were just sitting there kind of like trying to rouse him. He wasn't having none of it. Like he just tucked into me and just went to sleep. Like just stayed, stayed asleep, I should say. Not went to sleep. He never woke up. And I thought he would, but he didn't. So, yeah, that was a fail. Um, earlier today, the lactation consultant, they've all left. You know, it's after 5 p.m. It's almost going to be 5.30 or 5.20, whatever. And so I just placed an order with the kitchen for some pen pasta. Hopefully that pans out. I'm finally eating my Lunchable. Uh, I'm going to. Um, they said an hour for my pasta. It was a choice between meat sauce, that's all it said, or marinara sauce. And so I asked uh, my boyfriend, Elton, I'm like, which should I try? <laughs> do you think and he was like I'd go with the meat sauce I was like okay I, I assume the meat is ground burger right and uh yeah I didn't get any drink with it I'm just gonna continue to drink water because I'm still urinating blood um and uh yeah I've been up walking around changing my own pads and um I got Nothing hooked up to me. I got my F550. I can have my Narco if I'm in pain for the first time. Um, oh, my boyfriend's calling. Hold on. S sorry, my boyfriend was talking to me about food. He went down to the cafeteria. Because um, the stuff that they have in the cafeteria is different than the room service. So, yeah. Um, I still got a little bit of a headache. I'm just tired, I think. Um, it's nothing major, and yeah, I, like I was telling him, I'm just ready to go home, <laughs> tired of their food, tired of this small room, um, uh. the only thing I would miss at this point is just help with breastfeeding and latching. But I feel like Elijah can do it, you know. If he can, it's not the end of the world, but I feel like he could do it, you know. Because he did it initially, and we let him get confused. But he's going on almost eight hours without food, so... Um, but he wasn't crying, he was, he was asleep. I tried to wake him up twice now, and he wasn't trying to eat. Um, once with the lactation consultant earlier today, and... Um, the past hour like we've all laid here and tried for an hour so yeah um and i'm gonna try again when he gets back hopefully he's awake and i have something to work with but i'm gonna try to do that all night tonight i'm gonna really be on my nurse head because <laughs> i think that's one of the other things that we need to do to go home is like he needs to be feeding more so yeah I am gonna eat it. I was talking. I haven't talked to him forever. I was talking about how and I just I hope he's awake when she comes back. Yeah, and then I'm hoping he can eat. Because if we can't get him to eat, we gotta feed him something soon. Because that's gonna make it even harder for me to feed him later. No, I'm not gonna stop trying. I I, I know he can do it. It's just he's confused. <laughs> I don't want to keep confusing him. But I'm not about to starve him either. Plus all the food that we already just wasted, been wasting. I mean, they knew he wasn't gonna eat it anyway because he was a newborn. But still, do I have like a? 
Oh, hey, look, what the fuck is this? Yeah, it's a little pump. It kind of looks like a pimple. You get into pimple because it don't hurt. I think some can you know, sweat going at this fall. It happened that, as old girl would say yesterday, you know, tense. You know what she said? Upset. Mm hmm. I think she said, I think she said upset. Supposed to be pen pasta <laughs> and a fucking meat sauce. <laughs> Head vlog is twelve forty six a.m. This is the. I can't see it. Breast pump. Breast pump they're having to use. As you see, my boyfriend's feeding baby Elijah. I'm about to lay back down. I just used the bathroom. And I woke up from a nap. My boyfriend did not sleep, so he's got some coffee. And, um, yeah, he's feeding him some formula. And I'm going to try to pump. bottles that they're giving us. Um, my nipples are really soft, so getting him to latch has been a little difficult. <laughs> um, I didn't do it straight out of the OR, so, but you know, better late than never. But, ooh, is that a burp or a fart? Ooh, big burp. Good job, baby. He's so cute and sleepy all the time and such a good baby, honestly. But when it come down to my my titty, we are not seeing eye to eye. I mean, <laughs> that's our one disagreement in life right now, <laughs> Elijah. Sorry, trying to be trying to coordinate myself back in the bed. But yeah, I don't. I'm gonna get iron through my. IV in the morning. He's going to get his circumcision in the morning. It'll be Monday, the 23rd, which is when we're supposed to be induced, but he's already here because um, we got induced Friday. We're hoping that we can go home. They got me on Narcos, Motrin, Iron, and uh, Stool Softener. And last night, you know, we were just focusing on the feeding and Everything else, I'm gonna drink lots of water, and I think iron's supposed to help you produce breast milk. I'm producing colostrum, it's a small amount, but it's building. Um, but my nipples are really soft, so I have to like use the. I don't have to, but we decided to have me use the pump to express my nipple before feeding him to make it more uh, erect. That way, bless you, bless you. Um, I guess babies that had c-sections came from c-sections they uh have more mucus in them so he sneezes a lot i hope he doesn't have allergies like me or papa find his diaper you sure it's not just blending in something there's one over there but i know that's not the one you're talking about oh is it was it draped over the back of that. Oh, I, I literally had it over his neck. That's the only one I see. 
I thought I had just sat down. I would look with you. There it is. I found it. I'm going to pan back over to them so you can see them in a second. But, yeah, so that's what's going on. We're just hoping we can go home today. No guarantees, though. I'm really tired of the atrocities that, this, that the kitchen makes. Um, everything isn't bad, but, yeah. I'm tired of cafeteria food. And that is what is going on. I need to turn this pump back on and get it cracking. 15 minutes per breast. I'm going to do probably 30 minutes per breast. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully I can, um, you know, shower. Um, I'm getting up, changing my own pads. Have been. I get up by myself now. I walked around with Elijah a little bit last night. He liked it. I liked it. Dad liked it. We all liked it. <laughs> and, um... And I have the most amazing boyfriend in the entire world. <laughs> he already showered last night. I wanted him to, though he had time to. We already jump started on the paperwork yesterday for his uh, for a certificate application and all of that. So he opened his eyes last night. I'm just trying to catch you guys up on everything. Um, and it's only it's before one a.m. on Monday, the twenty third. <laughs> Okay, I'm about to show them. Oh no, no, no! Just let him, let him be. Oh. He's so sleepy and happy now that he ate. I'm not convinced there's not a poop in the future. With that that good fart he had, got out some good gas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he trying to pick his head up though, that's so cute. Nice independent boy. Oh, you're okay. I don't think he'd like to blink it in his face like that. Mimicking his cute little, his cute little voice. Aww. Trying to hold your own head up. neck for me. You look like the little, uh, the little short film about the little Asian lady that was making those little, those little, uh, dumb